Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and today, me and Annalise, my daughter, <laughs> say hi Annalise. Hi. We are at the uh, Goodwill thrift store over here in Franklin, Wisconsin. So we're gonna go see if we can find anything to flip for profit for the antique booth or for our online live sales over on District. I do my live sales. I have two markets, Lilyworks Antiques and Collectibles, and Lily Works Jewels and Lots. And as a matter of fact, it's funny because while I'm going shopping, I am actually streaming onto YouTube my sellers who are in the train. So right now we have Pack Rat Queen on. She's Felicia. She is so informative about jewelry. She has a YouTube channel as well. So Annalise wanted to come with me today. Let's see what we can find in Goodwill and make sure that I can also stream you guys. Okay, let's go on in. Let's go grab a cart. I have Annalise on um, <laughs> district duty. <laughs> She's, what? Maybe later, okay? That'll be a good treat for after um, shopping. So she's on uh, the duty of, yes, after. She's on the d district duty, so if she hears them say Rachel or Lily Works during the live sale, <laughs> She will let me know. That's her job of the day. Also, today's color of the week is going to be orange for half off. So, I don't really need a whole lot of things. Both booths are, you know, really stuffed. <laughs> for the most part, look at how pretty this is. <laughs> what are you? <gasps> Someone made this in 1996? Okay, I love this. Five dollars? Oh my gosh. Well, that is gorgeous right off the bat. Okay, so I'm trying to stick to the theme. So my theme of at least one booth is really romantic and uh, I like to have pieces that match with like the paint, um, the fusion paint, and IOD transfer so that people can visualize what their houses and decor would look like together. So this looks like possibly a Capa de Monte piece, but there is some chipping going on there. All right. And as always, if I miss any, oh my gosh. <gasps> look at this. Raku pottery. Okay, let's see how much this is here. Let's move this. I love Raku pottery myself, and this is a big Raku vase. Oh, it's only $10. What is wrong with it? Did it have a top? What is in the world? We need this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, so that was fun. All right, we have a little sugar creamer set here. We have a glass candlestick. Okay, so not too shabby. We just walked in the door and two things. Lovely. Look at this glass one. Is it broken? Is the tail broken? What is going on here? What is broken here? Three dollars. And look at it. it has a little um, Millie Fiori eyeball. What? I mean, it's not like really super high quality. I'm wondering if that's just like a drip. I don't think anything is broken on it. Like that white might have dripped. Oh wait, nope, yep. <laughs> this whole part right here is broken. That's the problem here. So this whole wing right there. <laughs> there I knew there must be something wrong with it. All right, Annalise found something right there. Pretty like amber. Tone glass. See, this is also ten dollars, but the Raku pottery is way better. Um, I like this flower cup. That's pretty. A little cutie. Not vintage. And oh, look at this Mikasa. Ooh la la. It's just flashed on, so it is peeling. I do have 
some Mikasa wine glasses that you drink out of that are very delicate and beautiful. Oh, look at more copper. I absolutely love the copper kitchen and I think it really fits into the aesthetic that I love. So we have some canisters. Let's see if these are vintage. No, they were sold at Home Goods. Well, how much is this one? $3.99. Yeah, I will leave those. They kind of remind me of the Moscow mules. All right, what else? A little angel. Look at that. You are an angel. And anything over in this section? We have a lonely cart. I'm not sure if someone is still using this one. Let's move it over. How's it going on, Elise? That's good. Did you see anything for resale? Look at this mug. I like it. There's an M, so someone handmade it, but there's a big chip. We have a pineapple and this probably held maybe a metal dish or something maybe a candle all right let's keep moving Ooh, i am loving the red white and blue theme going on but let's see if we can find anything annalise what do you see you like that one that one's really pretty isn't it let's see oh doesn't say on the bottom we'll put it right here there's actually two bowls right there um these are pretty. Wouldn't they be pretty if they were actually actual tiles? So I used to have a set of these. Um, they're for like casseroles and stuff like that. All right, I wanted to turn off the, the, the recording while their speaker was going really loud. And Annalise found a little hat for 4th of July. So cute. Annalise, did you know that 4th of July is coming up pretty soon? She's wearing her 4th of July dress actually today, so that's super adorable. Okay, we have some wallets here. That is so cute, Annalise. I heard something break. Do you love it, Annalise? That would be so cute on Gideon, don't you think? <laughs> All right. Snowdrops. Oh, look at. Here's one of those, is this a wedding? Yep, it might be one of those wedding um, canister things where you would put this top and it would fit underneath here, a little candy dish. It's $5. Um, this might be a Westmoreland piece, possibly with the grapes. I'm gonna leave it though, Maybe I'll think about it. But for now I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm trying to be picky today since both of my booths are kind of getting full. And yeah, this is a cute little Delft Holland piece. That's really pretty. I normally probably would pick, pick that up as well, but today I am being pickier. Let's see. This is pretty, what is this? This is limited edition and there's an A at the bottom. What are you? Are you, do you even have a price? $3.99 orange. Okay, so half price. Maybe a candy dish. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I am. <laughs> it's not super exciting. Those are glow sticks, Annalise. So we did, um, we did movie in the park. So these are $1.25 each. And other kids had gold glow sticks here can I turn this down a little bit um, yeah let's get some for if we do another movie night or something or maybe like 4th of July so these have two in each these ones right here do you want to get that one or do you want to get the singles like like green like a green one a blue one and a oh there's a purple so maybe like one for Gideon, one for Pemberley, one for Serafina, one for you. That would be perfect. Yeah, let's do that. That would be like a nice fun treat. Okay, so we need one more. We need the green one. 
There we go. All right, let's keep moving. All right, they have these ends um, sectioned, I guess, by color. So candle section here. I'm so glad they're not playing loud music. These are 50 cents each. That would be cute for a little party. Anything down here. So we have some crackle glass. So it's interesting because um, Maya over at Wooden Chair Antiques in Kenosha, she'll let me know what customers are asking for. And she was saying, yeah, people are asking for crackle glass. And I'm like, well, that's interesting because I really never heard of it being that popular. Look at these pretties. I love the colors and I like Mikasa. All right, we're gonna open this. All right, I really like this, but what is it? Is it for hanging? It's $3.99, 2005. I love it. I don't think it's vintage, but it's beautiful. Like a big giant knob. I don't even know. I do like the metal section. So, oh, we have these cutie little baskets. What is it? Lucky Clover Trading Company. These are $1.99 each. Oh my gosh, these are so stinking adorable. Look at these little baskets. Maybe if they were a dollar each. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, those are cute. All right, anything else under? Okay, oh, and another basket. Those are so cute. Oh, look at there. there's a rusty weather vane, but I don't think it's actually that old, but it is lovely. <laughs> How many pounds is it? Three pounds? That's like a whole daddy size burrito. <laughs> oh, and another one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay. So, I don't know if I told you guys today, but I ended up selling one of my upcycled side tables for $70. So that was like super special because that's something that I made and I created and just that felt so good because I bought the table for four, added some paint, added some decoupage. <laughs> this is a little broken. So that was, that was pretty thrilling. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, la, la. Okay. Is this a bookend? What are you? Oh no, this is a shelf. This is $6.99. I love these kind of shelves. I wonder if there's two of them. <gasps> Ooh, what's this right here? This is pretty as well. I don't know if you'd put like a wood bowl in that or something, maybe. Hmm. I do like this, but it, I have enough gold. If this was half off, I probably would get it because I love that. We have a gold tray, that's interesting. It's $4.99, what does it say? Finest quality international silver company. Hand inspected. Annalise is still lifting weights behind me. <laughs> okay, moving down. We have some wall sconce things, some horns. This bowl is lovely here. It's so heavy. Oh, you have both of them now? Her little noodle arms. <laughs> okay. I just upcycled a tray, I think from the bins, that was literally this tray with the gold handles. And then I put the fusion paint on it, I decoupage it, so beautiful. This is pretty too. The grapes, ha <laughs> ha so lovely. Okay, look what Annalise found. She found a skip it. And they don't, like as far as I know, I have been looking for one of these for the girls and they could not find one that they sold in stores. So you put it around your ankle and then it, it swings around your ankle and you have to like hop over it. And so I thought it would be a good age. Six years old is a good age to try practicing that with that. 
All right, so sometimes I find some pretty cool plates. I see this poking out over here, $6.99. It does have a little stamp under there. It says door, or does it say gorgeous designs China, maybe? So that is behind there. I'll show you when we get home, okay? Sometimes they have like other plates within the collector's plates, like fused glass, things like that. All right, don't really see any. All right, little trinkets. Clown with a teddy bear. And this one says Merchy. $4.99 half off for that contemplative reader. Wow, and I do like finding littles for wife sales. So I really like this egg, but it, someone put a, a candle in it. So I'm not gonna grab that one. We have a painted cow. This might be like a Limoges hand-painted piece. We have this is broken. Might be a music box. Soapstone, I'm thinking. I think that's a little soapstone Kenya piece right there. What is this? Um, maybe a pedestal? A lucite pedestal of some sort? And one is broken. Okay, we have little raccoons. Those are kind of cute. Oh, what is this? A little dangling crystal <laughs> angel. And maybe a little Q-tip holder. Okay. Kids in their snow globes. Hey. Oh, look at this little guy at the top of this bell. <gasps> He's so cute. This would only be a dollar, but bells don't really sell for a ton of money. So I'm going to leave that one. If it was like a Fenton bell or something, maybe I would grab it. This is very romantic. Can we take out these flowers that are sad? Let's see. Are they part of the piece? They might be, I mean, I really like, what did it say? I like the look of it. Can't we take out the flowers? Are they like really glued in there? What is happening? There might be holes that the flowers come out of. So, all right, we're gonna leave that. We're getting neither of those, but thank you for asking. No candles. Um, there's, I like the cobalt blue here. Little moon tea light candle holder. We have bears. What are these? Hmm. They're a little ch like cake chipped. Okay. Aw, little bunny, so cute. I feel like um, this might sell for something, but totally not my style. My husband used to have a lot of dragon stuff. And what is this? This is made out of clay. Cute, cute, cute. Let's keep moving. So this is so pretty in the red section. I think it's just flashed on red. It is signed Eileen or something, 1978. It is, however, $10. So I'm gonna leave it, but if it was like half, oh, look at the flower. <gasps> she hand painted this. Look at how so sweet. Oh, bummer that it's 10. 
Okay, anything else in the red? What is this? This is nothing. Okay. Yeah. What? You found Pemberley's Bear Bear, but hers, that one doesn't have any cuts off of it. Maybe we should get that one just because Pemberley didn't shave the hair off of that one. Let me see, is it a Build-A-Bear? Yeah, it's a Build-A-Bear. How much is this one? $6.99 half off? Okay, well, we have a Bear Bear with no, um, <laughs> no cuts off of it. That's pretty great because <laughs> Pemberley decided that her Bear Bear needed a haircut. This is pretty, the bottom with the Bulacante bubbles. Don't know what it is though. Let's see. Okay. Let's peel it, see if it's marked, signed, anything. Nope. Okay. I'll leave those. And little Coca Cola. Annalise is always very careful. She always has been. Nope, we don't need that one, honey. She always, oh, she's putting dresses and <laughs> things in here. We'll have to go through that when we're done. She thinks shopping with mama means she gets to pick out whatever she wants. All right, mugs. I think, I think we live in a generation where we all are pretty much obsessed with mugs. <laughs> this one's pretty though too. See that bottom? It's pretty. I'm just looking for handmade or vintage or high quality. I do not. What is this? Sweater weather. Oh, this one's an older uh, Magnolia one. So this one actually might be worth something by, I think Magnolia did redone, but I'll leave it. Not super interested. <laughs> okay. Turning. Come on, Annalise. We have teacups. These are cute little gardening teacup spearmint. Chamomile spearmint. These are Foldsgraph. And little clogs. What is this? Little eggs. Those are cute. would be a dollar for this little one. What does it say? Something Ren J. King Fisher. So I don't even know what that is supposed to be. So it's getting a little crazy where I was. So we decided to come all the way to the other side of the store. Now we're by the yellow. What is this right here? It feels heavy. Maybe it had an actual basket handle on it. Hi. What is this? Annalise just brought this to me. What is this? <laughs> Interesting. I have no idea what this is. We have a, a blue onion teapot right there. And what is this? This is pretty, a little swag. Oh, I love upcycling little brown bottles like this. What does it say? Use for wood polish. So I guess there was wood polish in those. $1.99 for that one. That one is really pretty. Anything way down at the bottom? There's some cups that someone put glitter on it. We can turn around, Annalise. Look over here. There's blue. I love the blue. We have a blue ball jar. $1.99 for that one. Pretty. Ooh, what's this? Does it open somehow? It's wiggly on the top. How does it open? 
Oh, is it a drawer? I'm confused. How, how does this open? Is it like a puzzle? Hmm. Okay, so I did figure out that this is one of those like trick boxes or really hard to open boxes. There's like a little wooden mechanism thing in there. I'm gonna get it even though I can't figure it out. It's only 99 cents and it is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And the teal blue, yes. So I will grab that one and then grab my phone. <laughs> and then these are some yogurt cups. Um, pretty bell. Look at that. Another Delft. And another one right here. Canisters. Okay. Ooh, those are pretty. Look at how pretty these are. The frosted bottom. I don't know what they would be for, but they're really pretty. All right, vases. Look at that. This one looks like an older piece, doesn't it? Look at this. Is this called the Moriagi? $1.99, I'm gonna grab it and then research it more, but this is pretty awesome, I love it. Okay, and then treats from the grave. Not my style, this kind of looks like a Namaji piece. It says red clay, hmm, pretty. Okay, look at this picture. That one is lovely, $5. I think that one is just beautiful, the pottery, hand-thrown pottery. And then watering can. That's a pretty watering can. What is this? It says peaches, this was from Stein's, or maybe apples. Um, $20 at Stein's at some point. Probably is a garden flag back there. A little urn. <gasps> Ooh, my favorite flowers. Ronculus flowers. So I'm not gonna get them. <laughs> These are my favorites right here. The Ronculus. Love those. So this is only a dollar ninety-nine. And it's tulips, and I can totally paint that, upcycle it, whatever, showcase some of the transfers. That will be perfect. Look at this too. I really am drawn to like fake cranberries and elderberries and things like that. Very romantic. Okay. Clear glass. Oh, this might go on a big hurricane lamp right here. And yeah, let me feel it. Yeah, that one is. This is a pressed glass. All right, so sometimes I can find things over here. So we can look on this side over here. Like, what's this? Another shelf. This one is House of Lloyd. This one says House of Lloyd 1994. No price on it. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll ask them at the front. I like it. Oh, yeah, after we're done, okay. And then... We have that one. What are these? They're laced through the holes. Hmm, interesting. This look like... I don't know, Ireland? These feel like aluminum. All right, wood section. I love the wood section. It gives me a lot of inspiration as to what I could paint, like a big wood. Tr oh, this actually has a cross stitch. What? A big cross stitch deer in it? How fun is that? $3.99? How can we resist? <laughs> that is so neat. I love cross-stitch things. Oh, 
it like slid. Annalise, could you see if it's sliding all the way forward? <laughs> okay, what else can we find in this treasure trove? What are these? They are some kind of plates, I'm thinking. We have a wood duck. This is $9.99. I'm not going to grab him. Little decoy. Um, and more trays. Man cave. A, I don't know, a little shelf with a heart. And then over here, what is this? $4.99. This looks old. Is it old or meant to look old? Yeah, I think it's meant to look old. It feels lightweight. No. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Okay, it's taped. What is it? It says... Saint Martin. So a carved wood. What is it? Garbage can? What could it be? Okay, so I'm in the glass section. The totally it looks like this would be a glower uranium. Fortunately, there's a chip and they did mark it $4.99. They probably did test it. Usually at Goodwills, I do not find glowy glass. If I go to like Salvation Army or something like that, I might be more able to find a glower oh look at this pyrex so sad <laughs> bowl of comfort what can i put in the bowl of comfort macaroni and cheese that's literally all i can think of <laughs> well this is cute i always think that like things would be so cute for you know parties um tea parties and things like that and then i never have tea parties i mean i've had a couple with the girls but yeah all right oh what is this did i miss this this plate look at how pretty this is this again is eva ziesel i think that these are so pretty and there's two of them how much are these did i look 4.99 each i'm gonna look these up because they're just really lovely um yeah, I'll, I'll look these up and then what else I did find do you see that garden friends right there grab that um, and then thought this would be like just cute hand painted thing for um, the like summer gardening time this I cannot resist this is like a little Limoges bud vase and I love the shape and the color it's $2.99 but it is so cute and then yarn bowl and it's gorgeous and it's two dollars you put your yarn inside the yarn bowl and then the string goes out the hole isn't that cute Annalise wants to find a box for jewelry <laughs> so she found a Jamaica one but you know we're the expert at finding some awesome jewelry um, trinket boxes so we'll, we'll keep looking for her Okay, so I did find out why these are so expensive. <laughs> I'm from my research here in Goodwill. These are 1950s, 60s Eva Zeisel, and I think a set of two of these are selling for like eighty dollars. <laughs> Those are absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe they're that, they're that old. They are gorgeous color. All right, I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping with Annalise. Put back some of the stuff. <laughs> Don't tell her. And oh, no way. Look at. No way. No way. There's the teacups. I'm like so tempted. Annalise, look at. Can you help me find the other one? Where's the matching one? <gasps> now I'm like, where is all the things? Did you find it? You did. And look at what else. Look at what else. Right here. Oh my goodness, these are so awesome. 
Yep, gently. Is there anything else that matches? Annalise, now we have to go through here and look to see if we find any other matches. Can you find any more matches for that pattern? Nope, that's not it. And hold it by the bottom, okay? Let's see, what is this one? That's sweet as well. This one is this a one, Windsor. Any matches, any matches. I found matches. This is this lovely one, too. I'm one, drawn to stuff with one. the fruit and everything. Not, ma matches. not matches for these, honey. Matches to this pattern. See the flower pattern that we're looking for? All on recovery. All Not these, honey. Thank you. But those are cute. All right, now I want to go back through. Let's see. Not that one. It has to have the blue flowers and the pink flowers. So sweet. Ugh, love all this stuff so much. Hmm. All right, I think we're gonna wrap up after we go through this aisle, do a little shopping with Annalise, and yeah. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Annalise, say, say like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting. Shovel, shovel. Annalise, say, make, go out there and thrift. Go out there and thrift. So you can live. Live the shopping? No, live generously. generously. What does it mean to be generous? I don't know. Yes, you do. We talk about it a lot. Kindness. Kindness and be giving and not, not selfish. All right, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done everything here so far, and now my husband showed up today. Yay! So he's helping me. I've placed the paints and everything how I wanted it. So I got these shelves from Hobby Lobby, and I was actually able to fit all of the shelves and the littles exactly how it is on the color card. So if I have both these shelves side by side, it actually lines up exactly like it is in the color card. So I'm kind of wondering how I can do that. And then the Iron Orchid Designs transfers and things are on the pegboards that I bought at Home Depot. And right now they're just leaning against this. So I'm wondering, like my husband has an idea of like putting, um, like turning this one the other way and then putting the, hanging these on um, the back of these. So all the iron, orchid designs can be all together and then we have the uh, metallics by fusion they were out of these two here we have the um, iod stamps and things air dry clay here are the paint brushes and um whatever i forgot what these are called but yeah grid yeah no it's called something Let's see. I think I wrote it down. Thin mount. It's called a thin mount for stamps. So yay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy those um, shelves that are come. They're like grid shelves, wire shelves, and they come down a little bit and you slide them in. I'm going to put all these littles in there instead so that you can see everything. Um, but yay. This is literally my favorite thing, spending time with my husband in the antique booth. We have no kids <laughs> to need to distract with iPads and snacks and things. Ha oh, it's so wonderful. So this is what he had envisioned. So one long, long way, and then two going down like this. And then we're gonna put this pegboard from Hobby Lobby clearance like up here on the side I think and so far so good I think that this is working out really well are you having fun mm -hmm. such a nice date morning <laughs> all right so I'm wrapping up for today here's the information right here and then we have this side here with the paints. And then this side over here 
I put the transfers all along the top. I do want to move the paintbrushes eventually, maybe to this little area right here. And then we have the stamps running all the way down. And then I separated the paint inlays for the, from the transfers so that someone... Ooh, that is a good idea! James! <laughs> I love that idea. All right, well, that was a good idea. All right, so looking good. Look at him tidying up my area for me. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the vintage upcycling portion of this video. You'll see another project here that is a table that I paid $9 for. I'm doing these both at the same time, but right now I'm going to show you how I upcycle this mirrored tray. I thought it would look really cool if there was paint on the wood. So you see I'm using the carriage house paint right here, and I'm just painting the wood First, took off the handles, and then I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I can do like a transfer where it goes on the wood, and then it like overlaps onto the mirror portion. So I actually really love this color. Um, my <laughs> camera skills are not the best while I'm painting. And you can see where we store our toddler diapers right down there. I'm actually in my living room, <laughs> and you can see my fireplace in the mirror actually but that's not what you guys are here for you're here for the fusion paint demo so here we go this is what it looks like and then i did decide to also paint the bottom just to have a more completed look and so um, the color of the fusion paint actually changes a bit when you add on the um, dark wax or the colored wax so this isn't the final color and then this was the um, IOD transfer set that I decided to use because there are little tiny pieces. It has the bunnies and little critters and flowers and berries and I also want it to like complement the table, the round table that I was doing. So here I am. I just cut out a bunch of pieces and I'm laying them out to see how I want them to look on this tray. I really like this one berry and I ended up doing like a whole like wreath on the table. So it used up quite a bit of the transfer. And then as I'm like playing around with it, I start putting some of these on. Um, I also really love the bird, but then I was like, mm, that might look good like on its own in a picture or something. So I decided to go more of like the greenery and floral for this transfer. So all I did here with one hand, you guys, I'm just showing you a little bit of a demonstration of you stick the transfer onto the wood here and it actually, when you rub it, it actually adheres onto uh, where you had painted. So fusion paint actually works so well. I tried it with the, I tried it with the chalk paint, but it didn't do, um, it didn't stick as well. And so when I lifted it off, there was like bits and pieces coming off, but the fusion works so well. So here is what it looks like. And I'm showing that when the mirror moves, there's a little like gap right there. So I was like, how can I alleviate this gap? And so I thought, hmm, maybe if I put a little flower here, because I'm telling you, it was tricky to try to put a transfer in a corner spot. Um, that was also different levels. So, you know, this is all a learning experience. I learned a lot with this little project and I decided to take that little piece and that also that little per like burgundy fern and put it in there. And I think it looks pretty good, except for you see in the cracks right there, um, when the mirror moves, you can see that there is a bit um, of a gap uh, for the mirror. So I decided I'm going to distress this look. I even like the look of distressed transfer. Love the look of the distressed corners. So I just try to gently distress it as you can see here. And I thought that that looked really great. And all that's left for me to do is use a 
um, dark wax and clear coat wax after I screw the handles back on. So here are the handles. They are all screwed on. They are good to go. And I'm really getting excited because it would be so cute to even put on your own dresser and put your jewelry. Here is Gideon demonstrating next to me while mom painting. Whoa, good job. <laughs> So he wanted to yeah, show off to you guys. Okay. So here he is. He's Gideon. He's my little two-year-old. So this is his version of helping me, which is great. All right. So here is the DIY um, dark wax that I use. So I actually, instead of a paintbrush, I'm just using a paper towel to put it on. Honestly, I find that that's actually really easy to control just using like a rag or a paper towel. And as you can see, the paint itself is getting pretty dark. I want to not completely change the color of the wood, but as you can see, when it gets in the wood grain, it makes that dark aged look to it. And then once you like wipe away the wax and wipe it all in, it, um, it won't be as dark. So I'm trying to put it in all these little cracks around the handle itself. And then here's a little glimpse of what I've been working on as far as the table. It has been distressed already. You can see there's the bunny. Oh my gosh. So I have this table. I paid nine. I have it listed in my booth for 200. It has two little drawers and yeah, I waxed it. You can see where the girls were having their little fort in the back. You know, that's mom life while you're getting things done. So this is the clear coat, the clear wax. And when you put this on after the dark wax, it kind of takes some of the dark wax away in places. It lightens it up a little bit. And I, that's honestly my go-to look is first dark wax. And then I use a clear wax and using this like more distressed look, um, where I sanded it and then I used the wax. It totally makes them um, where the mirrored pieces um, were showing under the transfer. It, it softens it. So here is the final look, you guys. I put a little like trinket tray there with some jewelry and cranberry uh, glass. And there you can see how it looks. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I definitely learned something from this upcycling and I'm planning on putting it in my booth soon. A huge shout out to all the Patreon members for supporting both YouTube channels and our Lily Works Facebook community. Come on over to our new selling platform called district.net. We have two stores. One is called Lily Works Antiques and Collectibles. The other is Lily Works Jewels and Lots. Become a member. You can also become a seller. Also, if you're interested in anything you see from this video or reseller merge, go ahead and head over to lilyworksreseller.com where you can find different collections for sale. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!